So guys, look, we're gonna talk about a little, uh, a couple counters to the Hitchhiker Escape. Um, talk about two that are gonna go into a couple submission series, but then a few that are just gonna go into uh, just a few attacks here. Now, when our opponents hit, anytime you're hitting a move, you always wanna kinda have like a defense in mind. So what I like to do is I like to, uh, let's talk about control from the armbar first. I put the rear arm through, and then I grab a key more grip here. You know, and I make sure that I push his hand down and I drive my chest against the back of his tricep. So that way he can uh, he can't rip his elbow to the mat. It creates like a little bicep slicer kind of control. Sometimes he get a tap from, but I'm not looking at the tap but more of a control. Okay. If he we've got from here, we can put our foot in. You know, break the grip. Uh, the reason why I like the the Kimura grip here is I always redirect before I come back to the armbar. Okay. Um, so if my opponent lets go and starts to go straight for the hitchhiker escape right now, I'll redirect. So if he keeps hitchhiker escape, he actually turns into like a little Kimura. And then I'll go to the arm block. If I'm going back to the arm bar here, and he starts a hitchhiker escape, if I just pull it to my right hip, I hold it here. Watch, I'm not putting any pressure. Ryan can last, I'm not doing anything. If I just hold it here, and Ryan, go ahead and hitchhiker escape out. Ryan starts to turn, it tightens up for him. Okay, just by holding it at this angle. Not here, but there. He wants to turn his thumb down, run away, come up, and pass my guard. It's kind of like a, like a last minute hitchhiker escape. So. Let's talk about a few options from here. We have our, our control, but what happens if uh, he hits his move correctly? If he did this move correctly, he's gonna go on his own terms, not my terms. If he goes on my terms, I'm one step ahead. If he goes on his terms, he's one step ahead. So what's happening is I'm, a, I'm attacking his control. He decides that he can't hit any other escape, so he's gonna let it go, turn his thumb down, and he's gonna run it. Pause real quick. Right as he does this, I need to make sure that my feet don't get all tangled up, okay? So right as he does this, my feet are coming up onto his back here. Okay, he starts walking around. You gotta remember, he wants to bring his head up and turn my legs. Okay, so I need to keep pressure with my leg on top of his head. So when he tries to lift his head, he can't get it up. I've got a hold of this tricep with my right hand, like so, my elbow connected to him. Okay, from here, we're gonna go into two options. I either dip my knee, he brings his head inside, I go right into my triangle attacks, or maybe he doesn't wanna bring his head inside, so then what I do is I use my hamstring to push his head away as I go into my omoplata attacks where I've got the shoulder lock from here we can look to finish that as well. When he goes, go nice and slow, Ryan, so the camera can see. As he's running, look, I need to get my feet out the way. You see this? I allow him to run. It's almost like being lazy with the move. Just be lazy, lay your back, lift the feet up. He runs right into it, my leg stays. Remember, your first option is gonna be looking for the triangle. He comes around, I go to lock up, I bring him back in for my triangle. The second option is maybe he's not giving us the triangle. So this time, I bring my leg over top, snap down for the omoplata, adjust, stretch your legs out for pressure on the shoulder, and then we look for our, uh, our breakdowns and other attacks from here. If he did the move properly, if he did the hitchhiker to properly, watch this arm. As he goes across, go nice and slow. So if he goes across, watch. His arm's here, keep going, keep going, keep going. Look what his hand's gonna wanna do. He's gonna wanna come over here. So that way when his head comes up, he can pull my leg and get control of my hip. So I can't get my leg back around his head. If, he, if his head's shallow, I can snap the triangle. But he's not gonna allow that. He's gonna glue his head and my leg. I can't go over the triangle. He secures the, uh, the escape at the pass. So, roll back down. Watch what happens. We'll do the arm bar, flip over. So from here, watch what happens. I control with my right arm. This is why I like my right arm through. As he goes for the hitchhiker, boom, pulse. Control like this, watch what's gonna happen. As he hitchhikers escape, look where his hand's going to go. I'd like it to be tucked here, but this time his hand came over top. See how it's on top of my arm like so? So I make sure my legs are heavy just like before. We can call this like hangman. You know, I got both the legs. I have control of his arm, okay? I have the triangle, good thing about the triangle. If he brings his head in now, his arm's all the way across the body, I immediately lock up. It's a very tight uh, triangle where I can also look to go into my arm bar finish as well. Or, check this one out, a little sneaky arm lock. Control, he's not giving me the triangle. So what I'm gonna do, I need to get my hips off the ground, either putting my hamstring on him or putting my foot on him. Okay, I like the hamstring because I feel tighter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my hips and get my shin inside. If he comes all the way up and continues passing like he wants to, I'm gonna whip my leg around and finish the arm lock. If his head stays down, and maybe he sees the, uh, the arm bar and starts bringing his head up, then he stops, and maybe he's trying to go back. Where I'm going to go here, 
I stay nice and tight with the arm and keep it tight. My legs will come over and I'm going to go belly down with the arm as I finish. Most guys remember what he wants to do with his head if he wants to come up and turn. So when he comes up and turn this time, he's walking right into our trap. Honestly, when you catch guys for the first time with this, they fall over. <laughs> we just finish traditionally. So watch again. The beginning is very, very similar. Very simple. Go faster with the hitchhiker. He goes out, he rolls, my leg comes. Look, look where his hands stay. Remember, we have our triangle and we have our omoplata. But this time, he was too smart. He came across. Or he was not too smart, maybe he was a little faster than us. But we were, we were loose. His arm came here. I still have the triangle, but now we have, I turn my hips, I drop my knee, he brings his head up. If he stays, my leg comes around, I go belly down as I finish the move. If he continues riding with me, just makes it easier for us, we hook. Now come over here, look at my foot. Here. Completely hooked. Not like this. Too much, too much. I gave him too much in my leg. Here, nice and tight. It's almost like a choke. Ryan, get your arm out. Very difficult for yeah, him to get his arm out. Extremely, extremely tight. Enjoy.